Hello guys, so in this video we are going to discuss about the cue card number 2 from May to August 2023 list. The cue card name is a book that you have read. That means you have to talk about the past tense and you need to explain which book did you read, who wrote it, what kind of content you find in that book and explain why did you like it. So all these points we are going to cover in this. I have made a spider diagram over here. So with the help of that we are going to discuss about this cue card. The very first line should be impressive. The beginning and the ending both are equally important. So we should take care of the parameter LR. Well LR stands for lexical resources and you do have to you know add some phrases or idioms so that you can sound like a native speaker. If you do check the seven bands uh, descriptor and eight band descriptor, you will find out that, that if you are adaptable, if you can easily use the lexical, that means the new words, the idioms and the phrases which I had already said, then you would be getting bands more than 6.5 on the scale of seven or on the scale of eight, depending upon your all the parameters. But lexical plays a vital role in your speaking. Okay, so the very first line should be impressive. You can frame the sentence by saying being a bibliophile. Now who is bibliophile? Bibliophile is a person who really likes to read the books. So you can say being a bibliophile, I try to read as many as books I can read in a week. Here I am going to describe a book which is suggested. If you want to start like this, you can. Else if you want a simpler start, then you can say, Here I am going to discuss about a book that had an irresistible start. As it is an eminent source of information, feeling and inspiration. Okay, so these again are lexical which we are going to add in this particular cue card. Also, you can add being a voracious reader. See, these are the ways you can start or if you are comfortable with all of this, then you can keep them in the starting part, right? Then you can say, well, as I said that I am a voracious reader, I was feeling low. So, my elder brother recommended me that you should read a book that is named Atomic Bomb. Well, the name sound a bit strange to me because I'm not a person who is into science related or technological related things. But when I started reading this book, I just took it from my brother's uh, desk and then I started it. I found it addictive. Addictive means you were loved. You really liked the content of the book and you just couldn't stop yourself to read it. So you can say that I was an addictive and I remained engrossed. Engrossed ka matlab hota hai ki aap kisi cheez mein involved hai. Bohut zada us cheez ko kya sakti ho ki bohut zada seriously le lena hai. Bohut zada us mein busy ho jana. So you can say I remained so engrossed in that, that book that I found that a perfect masterpiece. So you can say, if I say it is a self-help book, it won't be wrong because I really found that book useful for me. Moving ahead, you can shift to the content over here, which I have wrote, written down here. So you can simply say, well, I would say that Small habits can bring change in lives because this book contains the information how a person can change or how a person can make a paradigm shift in his or her life, right? After that you can add, well, our small decisions or minuscule, you can say the minor decisions of our lives have a compound effect, right? Or either you can make a passive out of that. Paradigm shift is basically 
यू जैसे हम बोल देते हैं कि एक टर्निंग पॉइंट आना लाइफ में टू मेक यूज ऑफ आर स्किल्स एट द बेस्ट सो दैट यू कैन यूज ओवर हेयर अगैन इट्स अ लेक्सिकल राइट आफ्टर दैट यू वुड बी मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट फाइन हेयर यू कैन एड दैट स्टार दैट आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस बुक और वेन आई वॉज रीडिंग दिस बुक आई वॉज सब कॉन्शियसली प्रिपेयरिंग माई सेल्फ दैट आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज माई बैड हैबिट्स लाइक यू कैन मैंशन एनी बैड हैबिट यू आर बींग लथार्जिक एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम लथार्जिक होता लेजी होना सो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट और मे बी यू कैन से आई वॉज नॉट अ गुड डिसीजन मेकर राइट आई यूज टू रिमेन परफ्लेक्स इन एवरी सिटुएशन so at that particular time I decided that I would definitely be changing my small habits which can bring a transmo transformative effect in my life not only this there is a perfect humor and comedy amalgamation in this particular book that can add fun to your life can add fun to your life जैसे हम बोलते हैं किसी चीज में इंटरेस्ट होना मतलब वो आपको ऐसे बोरिंग ही ना लगे कंटेंट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो से दैट इट कैन एड फन इन टू योर लाइफ दैन यू कैन एड दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन दैट वेल आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस बुक और यू कैन से इवेंचुअली आई हैव लर्न दैट बाय हैंडलिंग द डिस्कोर्स इन योर लाइफ एड्रियोटली एड्रियोटली का मतलब होता है कि स्किल्स को बहुत ही बोल्डली और अच्छे तरीके से फेस कर स्किल्स के साथ किसी भी सिचुएशन को फेस करना राइट सो दैट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट हेयर फर्दर यू कैन से वेल आई मस्ट से दैट इट हैज ब्रॉड लाइफ एल्टरिंग आउटकम्स इन माई लाइफ लाइफ एल्टरिंग आउटकम्स एल्टरिंग का मतलब होता है चेंज होना आउटकम्स का मतलब होता है रिजल्ट सो यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दिस At the very last point, you can simply mention mention that well, I have found that the life should be lived in a consummate manner. Consummate manner का मतलब होता है कि skills का best use करना और जो भी आपकी qualities हैं जो traits हैं उनका best use करना So these lexicals should be added when you would be speaking the cue card, right? Some words can uh, can be some little bit strange to you but these words are like uh, the high range vocabulary words so if you are comfortable at that it is good you would be adding this in your particular cue card see by bibliophile irresistible start these are easy to be read these are easy to be learned as well eminent source it is not that difficult you can definitely add that a voracious reader is also fine If you can say involved, that is quite okay. Else you can add engrossed, right? After that, we have discussed paradigm shift. That is a life changing event or a sudden change in your life with something positive. That you can talk about compound effect. That means a drastic change. एक बड़ा एक major change आना. ठीक है जैसे हम बोलते हैं ना कि छोटे छोटे decisions का life पे effect पड़ता है. So you can talk about over here. इन दैट वेज इसके बाद ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव इफेक्ट इसका मतलब भी वही है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मतलब चेंज आना ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव इफेक्ट द लास्ट पार्ट वॉज एड्रियोटली एड्रियोटली का मतलब वही हो गया कि बोल्डली फेस करना किसी चीज को एंड द लास्ट इज कंज्यूमेट मैनर और यू कैन सिंपली से इन बेस्ट मैनर इट इज जस्ट अप टू यू वट काइंड ऑफ वोकेबलरी रेंज यू वॉन्ट टू एड इन योर क्यू कार्ड but it is recommended that if you do add some different words and you sound like a native speaker you will be getting good bands in your speaking no doubt speaking is all about fluency like what kind of ideas you can speak without any hesitation natural pauses are acceptable there but not long the minor pauses can be there like mm, uh, these are counted as fillers so these should not be so frequent in your speaking so try to add lexical in your speaking okay if you really want to score seven plus bands in your speaking module so you should add that plus you need to take care of pronunciation pronunciation well i would say you you should not uh, add any fake accent in that okay keep it neutral if you are 
uh, you know Indian and you want to sound like that only so you can just keep your accent neutral okay there is no need to keep it fake because throughout you can't fake it right after that the grammatical range of course that is also requisite in your speaking आपकी grammar सही होनी चाहिए fluency आपकी pronunciation ठीक होनी चाहिए and आपके ideas जो हैं वो एक systematic एक structured way में आपको carry on करना आगे मतलब the person who is listening to you means the examiner or the interviewer who is listening to you should be engrossed in that उसको भी interest हो कि आप आगे उसको क्या बताने वाले हो it should be like that right so there should be a proper beginning and proper ending for the cue card and you do have one minute to frame your ideas so in one minute we can frame the cue card like that in that ways the way which i have written down here you can frame in that ways i have explained it in uh, some small sentences as well you should make your habit that when you get one minute you should utilize that don't just uh, sit and observe the cue card it is fine if you are making a mind map that means you are just thinking and you are you know planning the ideas what you are going to speak about but if we do write on the paper you can just put down the hints whatever the question is that the hints are there you are supposed to use present tense in that past tense in that future tense in that right so do mention that or if you can just remember that while speaking it is great but at least make some notes over that well it has nothing to do with uh, you know examiner's uh, view point for your speaking it is just for your own comfort space fine so make use of that one minute do not sit idle in that particular one minute keep yourself habitual of this thing after that two minutes two minutes you need to speak on the cue card it depends on the examiner examiner can stop you meanwhile if the person is finding you uh, either very interesting or boring right so it depends on you how you carry the cue card but it should be nice fine if the cue card uh, is stopped the cue card speaking is stopped before 2 minutes then you need not to panic okay because it is upon uh, like examiner again if the person is stopping you that means the person is going to just ask you follow up questions after that right so just keep prepare the cue cards like this add some new words as we had discussed add some idioms as well and uh, the phrases of course to acknowledge the questions right here you can just add well moreover besides apart from that what is more also plus all these connectors can be used to link all these sentences what is more apart from that moreover whenever you have a you have finished a complete sentence uh, then if you want to add any next sentence there you need to put them so this is how it has to be done i hope you find it useful keep watching thank you